I set out to be a legend. And still! Make no mistake, I will come back stronger. The goal doesn't change. Till's two losses, they came against Karen Woodley and Jorge Masvidal. That's a warrior right there. That dude only has one loss, and that was to the champ. I've been invincible all my life. He beat Wendell Oliveira. He beat Justin Ayari, Bojan Olikovic, Donald Cerrone, Wonderboy Thompson. Before Woodley, there was no one guy who could beat me, and then two losses like that. What's next? He's going to now bump up to middleweight. All right, I'm here with the winners here in Till. To come off two devastating losses, I proved a lot of doubters wrong. Darren Till rebounded with his win over Kelvin Gastelum and re-emerged in the minds of many fans. This win probably catapults him into the top six. Taylor Whitaker. Robert Whitaker versus Darren Till. After five rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. You know, I think the biggest takeaway from Whitaker Till is that I think Till stock really went up, which is a little bit unusual in a loss. It was a super close fight. Look at the top of middleweight now. Jack! The Joker! I was blown away by Hermanson against Jacare Souza. I stepped in, saved this show against one of the toughest guys in the world, you know. Not only a great performance, but he came off a short notice off of his fight with David Branch. There is a new middleweight contender. You just submitted a Henzo Gracie Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt in less than a minute. You took out David Branch, you took out Jacare, and then we had the one slip up with Jared. What's next for you? Yeah, I was just saying, what do you do right. next? Your winner out of Oslo, Norway. Coming off an incredible first round submission, win over the super tough Kelvin Gastelum. Well, I'm here with your winner, Jack Hermanson. Jack, wow, that was just a fantastic performance. So how many fights do you have to win to be the champion? Everybody wants to know what's next for him. Looked good, made it quick, made it look easy against a guy that isn't easy to beat. Everything I do in my life is working for this goal, to become the best in the world. Yeah, he put himself in a, in a real good spot, man. Now with a big fight with Darren Till, targeted for UFC Fight Night on December 5th. Jack Romanson has to go in there and finish what he started with this momentum. We're gonna fight. We have uh, signed the bout agreement. And we're gonna try and take each other out. Both these guys have dealt with some losses and they've always come back stronger. Confidence is back, like f all these middleweights. If he is underestimating me or looking past me, I think that's gonna be a big mistake. I'm one of the top guys, and I'm gonna to continue to be one of the top guys. You know, just preparing myself for this war that we're going into. They're all getting it! Let's do it. The pride of Liverpool, England. Get it! Ladies and gentlemen, the gorilla, Darren Till. Yes! Say him what now? The Joker, Jack Hermanson. I am a force to be reckoned with. I can't wait to show the world what I am. I am fucking coming to have war. I'm not scared of anyone. No one. I am a title contender. I'm obsessed with that title. So, I'm down to the game.